This is something I really like about the North Coast, what I love about it. No matter how cool an anchorage is, like we read about it in the guidebook, and it's like, ah, oh, let's go there. There's never anybody here. We're always alone. It's rare we see another boat out here. We're uh, on the west side of Pitt Island right now in a little spot called Iyer Inlet. I've dreamed of coming here for years. And uh, we get here, there isn't a soul here. Nobody around. Come up Alla Passage, there's nobody around. It's pretty cool. We love it. Well, yeah. So we're in Kelp Passage, just outside of uh, Prince Rupert here. It's our last stop for Rupert on our way up. Come to the shore, check it out, see what's going on. A little hut here. What's going on over here, Sandy? I'm finding my diamond ring. Oh yeah, oh you got a metal detector there. I do. Oh, and you're gonna find some, some treasures. metal treasures. Treasures? I bet you you find something like a a bungee cord or something like that. Here I think I might find a needle or something. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, that's cool. kind of what this looks like. Nice fireplace, Jim. Yeah. All right, have fun. We'll check in later. See what see what kind of treasure you find. <laughs> what what are you doing there, Sandy? Find a treasure. Right. Just like Bell used to. <laughs> I think she's better at it than me. So what have you found? Bungees. <laughs> Bungees, eh? Not even a bottle cap. Just <laughs> bungees. Right, well, keep it up. You'll find a treasure eventually. up the wolves howling we didn't have this last trip this is the second stop we've had wolves howling second place second island Pretty cool. So Joshua, what is making us real cruisers today? <laughs> no dock. We're dinging our laundry and our our garbage and across the inlet to Prince Rupert. And then we'll have to dingy our groceries back. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. As long as it's not pouring rain, it might be. Whatever. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. It's cheap. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah, the dock at Prince Rupert, all the docks and all of Prince Rupert are completely full. I don't know, we'll see when we get in there. I have a feeling they're not, but they wouldn't give us a spot. Yeah, I think we're going to see a spot or two yeah. as well. Oh well, such is life. All our groceries from Prince Rupert. Hey Joshua. Yeah? How was town? Oh, it was hard. What was so hard about it? Oh, we had to digging a couple miles across to the, the marina and everything in the marina or in the dinghy and the rain and the marinas wouldn't give us a spot. It's hard. And then we had to hike like a couple miles around to the grocery stores and the fishing stores. And what was the laundry. best stop of the day? <laughs> Tim Hortons. <laughs> it kind, was. Kind of fun. I haven't been to Tim Hortons in years. You got a gift card from somebody at work. Yeah. We had lunch at Tim Hortons. It was fun. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, it was, it was okay. It was just a tiring day. Not as easy as getting everything done from the boat and a marina, right? And yeah, being connected to the Hike and haul dog. everything around and, yeah. Oh well. Saved moorage. Yep. So Josh had to go and dinghy into Prince Rupert to get some fuel. 
and he came back just soaked. All his clothes is dripping wet. Hey, was oh. it wet? Yeah. <laughs> So today was a bit of a hard day. We came into Prince Rupert after 11 days out, hoping to get on the dock and do our chores, our laundry, groceries. And then I always like to go to my stores and look around. But everything was booked and we were not able to, so we're out at anchor. And we had to dinghy all our groceries and our garbage and then dinging it back and forth from Prince Rupert to the boat. So it was a bit of a long day and we're tired. So Josh is just out doing a little beach combing. We saw a uh, orange float on the beach. So maybe it will be good. Maybe not. We'll see. We're going to have some pancakes when we watch a movie. Try and lift our spirits. Just come out of Rupert and the fishing fleet is out here. They got nets spread out as far as you can see. I don't know if the camera will pick up how many boats are out here. There's, there's so many boats. Just miles and miles of nets hooking up a salmon here. Setting? Uh, on the train during out and see what Bill said. Where are we? Sumner Cove or something like that? Summer Bay? Summerville Bay. That was the 
sail over. Okay, last couple hours, we're good. 15 knots, dead downwind. There she just said. <laughs> Finally, we got one. Oh, he's so beautiful. Should we put him back? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? <laughs> oh, that was a labor of love. Oh, was it ever. Finally caught ourselves a salmon's handy. That's awesome. Yeah. What have we got here, Sandy? We have the first bear of the year. Yeah. Little guy. Mm-hmm. We're in Somerville Bay. Looks like he just swam. Yeah, he looks wet. I think he swam across the, the bay here. Kind of cool, hey? Yeah, it's beautiful. A waterfall falling right into the ocean. What is it, early October, Sandy? <laughs> okay. Looks like it, doesn't it? <laughs> What's the date today? July 22nd. <laughs> <laughs> I refrain from wearing gloves. It's actually not that cold out. Just the wind when you're in the dinghy and stuff. Got this, Sandy. We had a wonderful morning catching salmon. Yeah. So we caught three, four pounds, five pounds, six pounds. Yeah, nice fish. They they're, could be bigger, but they are nice. Oh, they're just perfect the way they are. Yeah, nice salmon. Heavy little. How many did you catch this morning? How many did you get into the boat this morning? I think we got in the net. We could have taken five. I think you got five. I got five, and I had one that got away. Yeah. It was big enough we could have kept him. And then the other guys were a little small. We had to let them go. But we, I did catch five fish this morning. Pretty spectacular. Thick black mud. It's awesome. So, this is the Coots Patina Inlet. We're uh, riding an inflow wind in this afternoon, evening. Going down to the Grizzly Bear Sanctuary at the end of it. Hopefully see some grizzly bears. It's quite a uh, scenic inlet, very dramatic. Big white mountains at the end. Oh, it's nice, nice sail, nice day. Doesn't hurt, we started the day catching three nice salmon. of those mountains I guess around a couple more corners and I don't know about 10 miles down this inlet still hopefully our wind holds
So we're here up at the Kutsmatin, Kutsmatin uh, Grizzly Bear Sanctuary. We came up here to see grizzlies, but the rangers told us we're not allowed to go past this this uh, buoy over here. And we're like a full mile from shore. It's a little bit disappointing. Well, it's really disappointing actually. Um, we'll see, the tide's got about two hours left to go, but it's kind of stopped moving. Like I've been watching the current move past us here and it's not really falling, so I don't know. We'll see. Kind of disappointing we're not allowed to go in there and see them. Kind of a waste. Anyway, that's the way it is.